Welcome back, Pams. I'm Jackie. And I'm Lana. Jackie, can you believe that it's November 1st? I can't believe it. I hope everyone had a great Halloween. We want to shout out Miss Johnson's dance class for a great job yesterday at the rally. You guys made great zombies. Okay, Lana, there's a lot going on this week, and so let's get to it. This is the last week for a collection of Blue Star Moms donations. Leadership will be by today and Friday, the last day to bring in those items. Also, don't forget to do a postcard in your third period class to a soldier that is deployed during, during the holidays. We will present these at the Veterans Assembly next Thursday. If you know a veteran, please invite them to our assembly on Thursday, November 9th. Make sure you find out which assembly you will be attending with your second period class. This Friday is the last day to send a photo of a veteran you know to camsasb at gmail.com so we can feature them at the assembly. Thanks to everyone who helped make the color run successful, especially our sponsors. Stay tuned for an amazing video in a, shoot in a few short weeks. Congratulations to Rochelle Bernardo and Rishi Menon for winning their respective grade level spelling bee competition. Rochelle and her opponent, opponent Pavi Shahal, went 44 rounds of spelling words, and Rishi and his component, James Velasco, went 33 rounds of spelling words. Amazing! They will compete against each other for the CAMS Top Spelling Bee winner spot. Wish them good luck, and thank you to all the others who participated in the bee. This isn't an easy competition. All CAM students, there's a new opportunity for those who love to run or want to find their love of running. That's right. Be a part of the CAMS Roadrunners. You do not need to have an athletic clearance packet to be a roadrunner. Just download and turn in the participation form located under the intramurals on the athletics tab at www.camsegusd.net or pick up a form from Ms. Sanford in MK1. Roadrunners will begin running on Tuesday, November 6th. So get your permission form turned in today. Thanks to all the students who participated in the October Library Challenge. Coming soon, November's Library Challenge will be graphically artistic. There are about 60 CAM students with overdue books. Please remember to return or renew your overdue library materials. Before we draw some falcon feathers, here are some drama reminders. Turn in your butter braid orders by Friday, November 3rd. If you have any questions, see Ms. Campbell. And Oliver, a joint musical production between CAMS and PGHS, opens this Thursday, November 2nd. Don't miss out. Hi, I'm here with Jimmy Falcon. We're going to pick some feathers for all you Falcon feather winners. So here we go. Jimmy's having a hard time with his arms, so he's just going to flop them. Kyla Mills, Mr. Prim, for helping a new student. Thank you for doing that. All right, winner number two. Drake Minente from Miss, Mrs. Gress, always willing to help others. Way to go. Who's gonna win, Jimmy? What do you think? What do you think? All right. Ava Doran from L. Brennan, seventh grader, participating in spirit wear. Way to go, Ava. All right. Ryan Hawkins from Jackie. Is that what that says? Quiet during math. On my birthday. Way to go. Way to go, Ryan. Two more. Two more. Here we go. Um, for being responsible, participating in the dance, Marcos ULLOA from Mr. Hasvac. Yula, yes, all right. And our last but not least, ready? Should I do it now? Flop your wings, here we go, who's the winner? Oh, I can't read this at all, so see you later. And this guy is gonna be the winner. Um, Perry Trujillo from Metz, Metz, Metzer? Metesser, responsible passing vocab game. Yay! <laughs> Everyone, it's Mrs. Gallenbor just with a friendly reminder. We have a couple things that have been happening on campus and we need your help. One is that we've had way too much horseplay recently. That means that you're playing around with your friends, maybe with your hands, your feet, pushing each other, pulling on each other's backpacks. Remember that we do not have horseplay here on campus because it leads to unsafe behaviors. So please make sure to follow our expectations and be safe. 
Also with trash, we understand that you eat outside during break and that's totally fine, but please make sure that you throw your trash inside the garbage cans. We have one custodian to help us clean up and it's all of our responsibilities to keep our campus clean. Um, remember that there is no eating during lunch outside. It is only inside the MP that you're allowed to have food and drinks. Thanks for your help with this. Hi everyone, I'm Kai, and I'm here with the one and only... Breaking news, hold up the press! <gasps> Looks here like we have the Penny for Pumpkins winners. In first place, Ms. Hendricks' class. In second place, Myla Adams. In third place, Grace Himmelman. Woo! Congratulations! It's Red Ribbon Week, where we take a stand against drugs and alcohol. Here are the days, brought to you by Club Live and Leadership. You have two more days to bring your school spirit and participate. Thursday is Team Up Against Drugs. Wear your favorite sports team jersey and apparel. Friday, love yourself. Don't do drugs. Wear red and hearts. Also, there is one more way you can participate. Let's take a look at this video. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some cams in it. What's up, cams? Coach Greatness here. Listen, it is Red Ribbon Week, and I call you Generation Greatness for a reason, because Generation Greatness strives to be my what? Be my best. Being my best also means being drug, alcohol, and tobacco free. But we want you to pledge during lunch at the stage we want you to pledge to stay drug, alcohol, and tobacco free. It's one thing to pledge, but it's another thing to live it out. Living it out means I'm keeping my body clean by being drug, alcohol, and tobacco free. Be my what? Be my best. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Brace yourself. Brace. See ya soon. We will see you during Club Live on the MP stage when we pledge today. Get these cool bracelets and red vines when you pledge. Let's see which spirit team gets the most pledges today. Remember to get your red ribbon chalk it up artwork to your teacher today so your class can vote on who will represent you. Get your rep name to Miss McNeil by Friday, November 3rd. Each third period rep will do their drawing in the quad during third period and lunch on November 7th. Before we see who will win, be your best Orange Day, Jimmy. We want to give you a shout out to Miss Trumbull, who gave all these kindness unicorns to her third period teacher to encourage them to be your best. Miss Trumbull, your greatness is showing. The winner for Cory the Kindness Unicorn is. Spin again! Okay, hopefully we can get it this time. The winner for Cory the Kindness Unicorn is. Miss Cito's class. The winner for the spirit stick is Spin again. The winner for the spirit stick is Miss Trumbull's class. Congratulations. Well, you can win the day Wednesday cams. Remember to be safe, be respectful, be responsible, and above all, be your best. Win the day cams.